boy, was it a busy month. My goodness, we've got a number of things to discuss in July. I've broken down the ones that are probably the most significant. And I want to also mention at the start of this month, we went live with the summer update. So everything here is actually even better in a playable state in the current early access of Everspace 2. Otherwise, let's get onto these topics. The scaling of progression has since been changed. We rescaled the scaling. So now numbers at lower levels are much smaller and numbers at higher levels are much more significant. So you feel the impact of leveling up. When you get a new good item in place, you're gonna get that power boost that you also deserve. Attributes were also rescaled. So the values that you get and what they provide are now a bit more distinct to boot. What does that mean exactly? Now we can put emphasis on the actual items that you have instead of just your attribute. Uh-huh, so you're saying that we're putting the emphasis in the items that you find in this looter shooter that we're developing? Now attributes still obviously play a role in this to help balance out your build. We also went ahead and updated mainframe expansions as well. That way, instead of just providing a mere <clears throat> 20 points, now it adds 5% increase to your total allotted. This also means you, by going up to five stacks of mainframe expansions, you can have a 25% increase bonus to your attribute. Get on those location challenges, people. We were able to highlight six new perks a bit earlier than they dropped. We have one for Delia, one for Hive, and one for Tareen, and three for the pilot himself. Here they are on the screen for ease of convenience. Also note those values are multiplicative, not additive. So if a value was 20 and it got a 50% increase, that wouldn't make it 70, that would instead make it 30. The Vindicator got a new set of wings. These are the Tempest style wings. And the body is also brand new for all of the heavy fighters. This is just a more recessed body option. Past me has some information regarding the Flock's new smart munitions. Now, whenever you are within a certain range, the Flock does not trigger its radial attack. So what that means is, if I'm shooting somebody and a drone goes flying by directly in front of my face and I shoot my flak, instead of it immediately exploding on the ship to hit the drone right there, it ignores that radial attack and it just fires off until it's at a certain range from the player ship before it can explode. Okay, so see how we're too close to the target and so the flak disables itself from exploding in our face? In short, if you're too close to your target, the flak doesn't blow up in your face. That's all. Other things that we did, we added device ranges to every single one in the menu. You can see its operating range. Also, if you're in game, you use a device and you're not in range, it will tell you what the range you need to be at is. Here's a quick clip. Now you can keep flying around. It just tells you 620 meters. And you can very clearly see that it's out of range. So now it's like, okay, well, I really want to use this. So I'm going to fly into that range. 620, boom. Hey, it works just like it's supposed to. It's magical. Everyone rejoices. That's a wrap for July. I hope that you enjoyed it. I know that it came out a little bit later than we had all desired. That summer update has been busy. So the recap from August should also be equally as exciting. I'm gonna leave you now with a little clip of my daughter sneaking into the stream. Otherwise, don't stop being awesome and I won't stop being Eric, your community ambassador. Toodles. This is, uh, this is my youngest daughter, Mercy. Say hello, Mercy, to everybody in the stream. You're totally not supposed to be here right now. I'm sorry, Michael. Oh my goodness. I know it's a green screen. Nobody else can see that. Oh my goodness. One, one second, one second. Oh my goodness.